Oh. Welcome, everyone. This is September 19th, 2022. It's Jenkins Governance Meeting. Thanks for being here. Topics I see on the agenda for today include news, action items, upcoming elections, CDF topics, forums and community topics. Any other items that need to be on the, uh, on the meeting agenda? Okay, then let's go ahead and get started with the, with the news topics. So Jenkins 2.361.2 release is scheduled for October 5. Chris Stern has volunteered to be the release lead. The release checklist is open. The backporting pull request, at least the first backporting pull request has been merged. Uh, and a changelog draft pull request or changelog pull request has been submitted. Thanks to Basel, thanks to Kevin Martins, bunch of progress. Um, additional item, Hacktoberfest is coming. Welcome to Prep Timber. Uh, John Mark Mason has posted a blog post and preparations are happening in the UX SIG, the DOC SIG, and in other places to be sure we're ready for Hacktoberfest. Uh, if you didn't see the recording of the UX SIG's last UX meeting, you should probably watch that. That's the third highlight. Uh, Jan Farachik and Tim Jacome are preparing a presentation that they'll give at DevOps World on some ideas they've got for a major change to the Jenkins UI. Uh, and Tim noted, Gavin, I think you'll be delighted with this one. Pipeline Graph View is now rendering much more correctly, uh, much closer to what Blue Ocean did than it ever did before. It went so far that I've removed Blue Ocean from my Jenkins installation successfully. And I'm happily using Pipeline Graph View instead of Blue Ocean to render pipelines. Is that something someone did or it just sort of works now? No, somebody fixed it. Somebody, not Tim, proposed three, two or three or four bug fixing pull requests and it just works. It's much better. So nice, nice improvement. And last item of news, DevOps World is next week. Any other news items that we should highlight? Well, there was CDF Mini Summit at the Open Source Conference. And there was uh, one presentation about the uh, Jenkins there, uh, mostly about uh, uh, pipeline libraries and uh, all the ecosystem for Jenkins at scale. Uh, the recording should be already live. So, and did I get that? It was at the Open Source Summit? Uh, yes, so it was Open Source Summit uh, in uh, Dublin. Ah, okay, uh, thank you. So the presentation was by Fidelity, if I recall correctly. Great, thank you. Uh -huh. All right, any other items under news? Okay, next topic then was action items. Um, I'm, I've made no progress on community.jenkins.io as the replacement for the doc sig. Uh, it's going to be a while yet because I've got to get ready for DevOps world. And after that, I'm taking some, some holiday time to go vacation. Uh, next was request full access to the CDF Zoom account. Gavin, you indicate you we've got a group now. So I just need to contact Michelle and ask her to add that group. Yeah, I literally just created it because I forgot to do it last week. Well, thank you, because I'd certainly made no progress on it. So I will I will reach out to Michelle with that request. And thanks for thanks for helping that. Any other action items that I may have missed in previous notes or things that we need to discuss as action items? Now I know that we just used Easy CLA with Kevin Martin's as a uh, as a proposed copy editor is there anything else on easy cla that needs to be done or are we we settled there and things are okay 
Uh, we still need documentation. Okay. So easy CLA is working, but it needs to be documented. Yeah, exactly. Great. Okay, thanks. It, it's been enabled on that repo for a while. So anyone who touches that repo to merge anything, we still get them to sign anyways. I don't know if we've technically switched over to it. We just get them to sign both. Mm, yes. For the one day, eventually, maybe. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's mostly the documentation part. Uh, during the first pass, uh, I cleaned up everything, including mailing lists uh, that uh, were no, uh, no longer used, etc. But the guidelines in the central repository are still not what we would like to have for easy CLA. Excellent. Thanks, Oleg. Thank you very much. Okay, if we carry that one. Uh, forward then as an action item, easy CLA needs to be documented. Yeah, I'm... you can keep it on my plate. Okay. Not that I'm exactly proud uh, for not delivering it, but uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's... That was well, th thank you for being willing to to do it. Thanks for enabling it. It it was quite smooth for Kevin's experience. So thanks very very much. Any other action items? Okay, next topic then is upcoming elections. So the, the notes from our last session were that we would ask Damien if he would be willing to run the elections as infra officer. He said yes. He needs to have a discussion with Olivier Vanon to be sure that um, he understands the detailed process. Uh, but I hope that we'll have a discussion, further discussion of that on in for an infra meeting tomorrow. Because timeline wise, I think we're in September now where we want to announce and gather candidates. October finalize the candidates, November voting, and then effective in early September. I, I would say we're already late because if they're going to do the meeting tomorrow, that's the 20th, that leaves essentially 10 days in September for this, so. Right. Well, and we may have to, we may have to have to extend, would you be comfortable if we extended some of the dates into mid-October so that we could only finalize candidates for two weeks rather than having a whole month to finalize candidates? I'm not overly concerned. I was just pointing out that September is almost over. Right, okay. Good. All right. And Damien agreed we would go ahead and use the same process as last year. So voter registration on community.jenkins.io and then actual voting through the Condorcet uh, internet voting system at Cornell. Okay. Next, anything else on anything else on upcoming elections? No, but I'll make sure that he's on those groups. Oh, thank you. Yes, thanks very much. Let me put that as a add Damien to the community.jenkins.io groups. Great, thank you. Okay. Next topic then was CDF topics. Uh, here I had notes that Kevin Martin's blog post was posted last uh, last week, I think it was, or two weeks ago, uh, announcing Jenkins' 18th birthday and the new release of Jenkins 2.361.1 that requires Java 11. Oleg, it's been a, a nice road. Thank you, Basil. Thanks, Oleg, to both of you. We, it, it's taken quite some time to get there. Yeah, feels good. Next step is Java 17. Excellent, a absolutely. And actually Basel's work on Java 17 has been quite promising. So, so it, it looks like it'll be much less bumpy than Java 11, eight to 11 was. We had, I think 6,000 users in August on Java 17. So I'm hoping to get to 10,000 by the end of September. We'll see if that happens or not, but. People are definitely starting to adopt it, given that I've been seeing bug reports coming in. So that's always a sign that 
people are using it. They're filing. We, we have to tell a lot of people to use 17 instead of 18. We get a lot of people on the <laughs> forums and chat saying, I'm using 18. It doesn't work. We're like, yeah, right. it's because we didn't say it would. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And that's that's a good one, right? To remind them really 11 and 17 are the ones we support and we know that there are issues in 18 and so stay with 17 good is the so requirements page updated it, it is yeah okay. the requirements page is definitely updated kevin kevin martin submitted a pull request basel reviewed it and we merged it the day that we released that okay so we officially 11 or 17 exactly right Okay, because I think we've been all telling people 11, if you want to try 17, it should work, but we're not supporting it yet. But yeah, it looks like seven, 11 and 17 are official. That's correct. Official, and, official. and and we we intended for them to be official. The testing was very positive. No, it's not been exhaustive. But as Basel noted, 6,000 users is a good, 6,000 controllers running it is a good a good mix. Next topic then was JFrog. Uh, we've got JFrog working with the Jenkins infrastructure team to reduce data transfer. I guess I should also note and to prepare for a move of the of repo from one provider to another. Now that should be relatively transparent to us, uh, but they're moving they the system that we're running right now, repo.jenkinsci.org, is relatively old and is somewhat of a one-off for them. They'd like us to be on the similar kind of platform as they use for all the other open source projects that they sponsor. And so they're planning that move. They don't expect it to be a significant downtime, but they're working through the pro process to get that move prepared. Now, our efforts to reduce data transfer, Damien's preparing a Jenkins enhancement proposal and will lead the communication effort and the discussions on, hey, what things can we do in order to in order to reduce how much data is being demanded from this repository server? Um, any questions on the JFrog topic? Okay, next was yearly project previews at the CDF Technical Oversight Committee meetings. Um, yeah, that's from me. Like uh, so we started uh, regular reviews of projects at the TUC meetings. So we had two presentations recently. And the question is whether we want to have presentation for Jenkins, um, especially since uh, there are topics being brought up uh, recently, for example, about uh, third party security review. So my understanding is that CDF uh, wants it to happen eventually. Obviously, budget and other things you provided. Uh, but yeah, I think that it would be nice for the project uh, to present there. And it's I, definitely uh, not me who should be presenting because I haven't been connected uh, too much to Jenkins in the recent year because of a lot of stuff. Would it, would it make sense to do a presentation to the TOC after contributor summit as sort of a summary of contributor summit is this mostly a forward looking thing oleg or is it a status reporting thing mm, it's mostly get, uh, getting implementation coming with community so the goal is not to present uh, all the updates in the recent uh, three months okay so the goal is mostly to show where the where the project is going especially with regards to um, CDF statuses. So uh, Jenkins is a graduated project, so we are not going anywhere at the moment. Uh, but there are still a few bits like security reviews, which we haven't completed uh, when graduating and which should happen eventually. Okay, so security, security reviews was a key. Now there was a, I had seen a question about, oh dear, about, something about their signing project um is it six store signing mm. of artifacts was another topic that uh, so and that's one that's coming to the contributor summit so those kinds of things security supply chain security those mm. sorts of topics that's what's interesting to them. Is, 
everywhere because uh, there is supply and chain okay. seek and obviously there are parties uh, that are interested to push uh, this topic for example chain guard uh, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, in reality uh, yes there is expectation for new deliverables that uh, they would be signed I'm not too concerned about uh, that for main joint distributions, but when we talk about uh, all the ecosystem around it, like Helm charts, some images, etc., yes, we have no signing there. Right, exactly. So charts, Docker images, uh, mm -hmm. etc. I guess I would guess even right. possibly plugin builds. I think Docker images are signed. Are they? I think so. And the, well, the question is also Docker images for what? So once which we moved to the new packaging flow, uh, yes, uh, they have signing metadata, uh, but it's not all the images we ship in the project. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I'm not de uh, really involved. I just thought I saw signing was happening for Docker. Mm -hmm. So I no, uh, for Jenkins uh, uh, core images, yes, for sure. For Jenkins agent images, if I recall correctly, also yes. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay. This definitely covers most of the use cases. I can also say for sure that Jenkins for runner images are unsigned. Uh, but uh, whether it's a concern for the uh, most of contributors in the project, I guess not. Um, but um, yeah, this is a question of whether there is anything else. And the health charts is a good example of that because we kind of have them, but uh, I literally have no idea what is the current release flow there. Right. And I think that's a that's a good topic for discussion there, right? Is what mm -hmm. are the current, or maybe I should ask that, is release flows an interesting topic there for the TOC or not so much? Or is it what what the ultimate release flow we would envision would be? Well, if you check um, uh, OpenSSF best practices, mm -hmm. then if Jenkins wants to proceed further, then release process is one of the key uh, milestones for us. Got it. Okay. And it's Thank not you. just about uh, signing code distributions. So there are also I think everyone likes called S bomb. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is again probably not that difficult for Maven, right? Uh, uh, but uh, more difficult for other packaging types like well, Docker images again. Um, so yeah, it's also something that we might want to pay, put on the list if you talk about uh, having full security audit in the future. Okay. And well, I'm not sure what's going on uh, with uh, government uh, users of Jenkins right now, but from what I know, as bombs become a must in this area. Right. Good. Okay. Anything else on so? Anything else on that in terms of when? How frequently are the TOC meetings, and what would it take for us to get on the agenda, etc.? Like. Um, I can add it to the agenda. I just uh, need to know who would be presenting and uh, when. So the next meeting is next week. Uh, next week, uh, I guess it's not a good option taking uh, DevOps world, but yeah, two weeks after, it's something that could be used. Yeah, and I think to if it's if if I were presenting two weeks after, probably won't work either because I'm. I, f I leave on vacation the 10th of October. So, so it may have to be, go ahead. So you're saying the TOC meeting is every two weeks and how much notice do we need to give? Mm, so for Jenkins, uh, there is no specific time when it needs to be done. So even November is fine. It's just some something that okay. could make sense. Let me, let me rephrase. Time. How early before a given meeting do we have to let the committee know? Is it like one meeting ahead, two meetings ahead, one day ahead, well, one hour two, two ahead? Meeting ahead? Two meetings ahead is definitely a safe timeline. Okay. So basically, it's the same as in Jenkins. Uh, yeah, we park in topics until the agenda is full. Okay. And, well, it's rarely full. So, you know. 
nothing really specific to this uh, meeting. Because yeah. when someone's available is less important about how do we get it on there when someone is available. So right. So yeah, uh, the one in three weeks is definitely available. The one is in five weeks is also available. Uh, one thing that uh, for five weeks uh, there will be KubeCon. So there will be much less people, but I will be around to host it if needed. Seven Three weeks, weeks. Uh, well, it's probably six week beyond, beyond my normal planning uh, horizon these days. So uh, it should be available too. And that feels that feels like November works. November would certainly work for my personal schedule. And, and I think it sounds like it works. It, is good potential for the for the TLC meetings as well. Great. Anything else on CDF topics? Okay. Next topic then was forum and community topics. The items I had were that the contributor summit will be September 27th. Agendas available from this Google Doc. Uh, and uh, we're thrilled that Tim Jacome, Jan Farachik, Uli Hafner, Alex Brandes, um, several others. So Damien Deportal, me, um, Badek Filonie will, will be there for that summit. It looks to be a, a very good summit. Uh, we'll capture the notes and share them afterwards. GitHub project actions from Google Summer of Code was an open question two weeks ago, and we don't have a, a conclusion on it. This one was specifically asking, uh, what would it take to register the Jenkins file runner GitHub action under, under a GitHub action with some registration process? And, I apologize. I've done no further work on this. Are there others who have anything to report there? Mm, well, it's basically me who recommended uh, to bring it up uh, to the community. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's me who also should have responded. But what uh, needs to be done for every organization, we need to basically sign an additional agreement, which is super straightforward. Um, I don't think there could be any kind of legal concerns in this particular case uh, because it's just uh, publishing content uh, on the marketplace. And once uh, this agreement is signed, uh, actions would appear on the marketplace. I see. I, okay. I feel like Damien should get involved with this too because he's a GitHub admin. Mm. Makes sense. Okay. Is a yeah, generally needs somebody from the infra team to bl to bless it, but uh, well, from the community standpoint, uh, it's just do you agree to publish the data? They do you agree that we can delete it if you behave badly, etc. etc. You agree, okay, go now. Does it probably, I assume, it also needs a security review from, from the security team, or is that? outside of the usual range of things that the security team would review mm, i don't think there is anything specific to security team. i don't know about the word needs for both of those i think ah, Damien okay. should do it and i think security should look at it but i don't think it has to get done i don't think they're blocking got it right all right so invite them and be sure they're involved, but it's not a, no, you must, we must have an answer before we could proceed. Proceed. Okay. Generally anything to do with we, things that we publish in, intro related is probably a good idea to security to be at least aware, if not auditing, but mm -hmm. I don't think they have to do it. Good. All right. Thanks. All right. Or for anything we publish might be interesting to know uh, how we expect to handle reports of security issues that are coming in to make sure that yeah. uh, third parties uh, know what to expect and how we expect to handle that. Um, if this is anything resembling an official Jenkins project deliverable, right? Good point. Very good point, Daniel. Thanks. I had not even considered that one. Yeah, that makes sense. 
how what is the issue reporting process? How is it different from or the same as the existing process? Right. And I mean, it might be as simple as I need to add a new component in the security JIRA project. Um, but would also what would also be important uh, as this has come up a bit in the past with basically everything that's not just a plugin. Who owns this? Who's responsible for the component? So that would also be interesting. Makes sense. Good. Thank you. Okay. Any other concerns or issues we need to need to be sure we address before proceeding on GitHub project actions from Google Summer of Code? Okay, next topic then was uh, progressing towards a single chat, a single chat interface to multiple chat destinations. Gavin, you want to share with us what your experience has been there? Um, I didn't know this was going to be ongoing, but oh, um, sorry. So I did infra and I did releases. So the IRC, the Gitter, and the matrix rooms are all linked up into one spot now. Um, I haven't heard any complaints, but I also don't know how many people are using them. So, yeah. Um, the, the key thing here is that I think there might have been confusion earlier. I'm not linking all IRC channels to one spot, all Gitter channels to one spot. I'm only linking the verticals across one, right? Making it a horizontal link. So all releases channels will be to together. All info channels will be together. Eventually, the uh, Jenkins IRC, the Gen Jenkins Gitter, and the Jenkins Matrix will be together. But I'm not making them all one giant room. Got it. All right. So thank you. Thanks for the clarity. OK. So and how would I get access to that matrix channel? Is there a URL I connect to? Is there? Yes. But the, the, the key thing is you can you, you can use whatever you like. So I know you like Gitter, so you can use the Gitter URL. And then I'll speak to the matrix and the IRC the same. Although I have noticed there's a tiny bit of lag. So like three or four seconds when a message goes through. Nice, I, okay. I can, I can so it, it really is providing bi-directionality into and out of IRC, the releases channel, and if there's a Gitter releases channel, it's they, they see each other thanks yeah. to this matrix. Yeah. So matrix is a central and they have bridges to either side. Thanks. Okay. Oh man, this is cool. I just tried it. Thanks, Gavin. Now I can have actual conversations with myself. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely have done that a few times. <laughs> I'm not sure that was the objective, but I like that. That's great. It's a, it's a uh it's a win, right? That's let's call it a win for that. Excellent. Well, and and thank you. Sincerely, thank you very much, Gavin. You've been you've been absolutely wonderful at working on communication channels and making think making things just better in general. Any other forum and community topics that should be should be brought? I have there's nothing on cross mail list or chat that I saw that should get brought up. Um, I would love to see some sort of screenshot or demo in the forums about the new cleaned up uh, pipeline viewer, but yeah. Oh, 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 that's that's an easy one, right? Well, actually, so so I have to admit, uh, Darren Pope and I are going to do a live stream tomorrow um, that will include the pipeline viewer as part of it. So so we can post that a link to that video into the into the channel if into one of the community pages if that's okay with you. Yeah, I just you know there's a community channel section for showing off, mm -hmm, and right. I usually use that channel or that category for anything I want to bring up in this meeting, and it's one of those things that wouldn't hurt to have a hey look it's working. Yeah, show 
show the uh, pipeline graph viewer. And for me, it was, it was really, it was a delightful thing that I was actually able to remove Blue Ocean from my Jenkins installation and still can render pipeline graphs and see them. So I'm not as thrilled with the log viewing experience, but it's, it's workable, so. And the big reason I wanted to make sure that we mentioned that plugin, like when we were doing the, the Blue Ocean docs, was mm -hmm. because it's um, contributable. Blue Ocean is not. Right. And while you can spend, you know, three months trying to figure out how to build Blue Ocean, the it's not really sustainable if anyone knew. Good. Yeah, and the fact that we've already gotten community members to submit bug fixes to the, the new plugin is some good evidence that it is more approachable, which is really a positive step. Agreed. Thank you. Yeah. Any other topics for for the community forums? Okay. So I got all all the the rooms and the things. So intro and releases are done. Um, some point I'll do the others, but I just wanted to see how well they work before I touch them again. Anything else? Regarding uh, chat, uh, would it be a good idea? I think uh, to update Jenkins IO slash chat so the documentation there. Especially if if we're doing linked channels, I think that entire page needs an overhaul because right now it's basically split by technology. Or I don't know. Um, I just thought you know this might need some documentation. Basically, there's the release chat and whatever technology you're using, you can join it via yeah. these methods. That sounds a good plan. I don't know. I don't have immediate goals to do that but if anyone wants to start working on it i will gladly help out and polish and edit and stuff like that yeah so i i think we ought to beg kevin kevin if you're uh, would you be willing to to at least explore it yeah i was actually uh yeah figuring it was going to be uh, something i'd help out with anyway so of course great all right and then once we get this working like the once this is working reliably no one has any major complaints i'll go back to the matrix and get her people and be like here's our list of all the rooms and we want to migrate all of them but i figure these are somewhat easy low traffic ones that didn't involve the entire community to start with great any other topics for today mm -hmm. Okay, thanks everybody.